Hello, hello, my name is Mitchell with one L. Um, this is something that I've been working on in the... Uh, the how do I word this? This is something that I was working on a while back and just kind of left behind, and I forgot about it. Sometimes that happens. But we do have Francois. Francois is here. Bonjour, je m'appelle Francois. M'appelle je Francois. Mon sac. So, this guy's basically done. Star, hello, babe. Hello, hello. Welcome to Walmart. Um, what I need to do for him is, I think I made his eyes too big, so I might have to adjust the eyes. And we're gonna clean him up and do some light touches on everything. Just make sure things look a little more neat, a little less sloppy. And we should be good. I just want to clarify that this is, in fact, a man. He is wearing shorts. This is, <clears throat> this is an art account. I'm an artist. <laughs> I just have to clarify these little things. This is an arm. Fun fact, this is an arm. <laughs> and it's currently uh, 5.37 p.m. I just ate a whole pizza. Is that normal? I feel like some people are like, I can eat a whole pizza, and then they have like a bite, and then they're like, oh, I'm full. But I just downed a whole pizza. I'm gonna have to do some extra steps on the treadmill after this live. My calorie intake is probably like really crazy right now. I don't even wanna calculate it. But I have my little fitness tracker thing. Ugh. Nervous about that. It's normal? Okay, so you've eaten a whole pizza before? It's not just me? Okay. Okay. For you. But I didn't eat the crust, so maybe, you know, it's not that bad, right? <laughs> Duolingo. Thanks, Duolingo. I actually downloaded Duolingo, and I'm learning French. Um, bonjour. Bonjour. So we're just cleaning up and touching up. This guy's basically done. We are just making things look a little more correct. I changed the background to more of like a peachy dark color. Background. Little jaw sculpting, little contour. Okay. I also have to finish the hair in this area, but I can't do that on here, obviously. These are armpits. I wonder how you say armpit in French.
So like this looks pretty messy. Sorry, this isn't that exciting. And he has more of like a buzzed hair kind of a, a thing. Star, ooh. What's the ooh? Sammy, hello, babe. Welcome back. Yes, it is. I just love beautiful, hairy men. Me too. Something about body hair is so charming. Hyper-masculine. It's like a real hair. <laughs> This is an arm, by the way. That probably looked like something else. It's an arm. Oh my. Baki, hello. Armpit in French is... Asile? Asile? How do I pronounce it? Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you knew what I was going to say. Pronounced S-L. S-L. Ooh, I like that. S. Am I saying it right? S. L. I looked it up for you. Thank you, love. S. L. S. L. Bonjour, S. L. Sammy, I was into hairy bearded men as a youngin. Ooh. I wonder what set that off. Any like specific actors or something while growing up? I feel like back in the day people used to be hairier or they wouldn't they wouldn't um, mind body hair as much. But I feel like in the 90s and 2000s that fell out of vogue. But I feel like it's making a good renaissance. I think a cousin. Oh, you had a really hairy cousin? <laughs> Are they still hairy? As a child, he? was so fit and hairy. That's a great combo. Buff and fuzzy. Sir, it's been months. Hey, babe. Months from what? He was a gorgeous man. Is he still pretty hairy? Baki, and is he single? 
Baki. I'm Egyptian. Egyptians are very... Really? Egyptians are very hairy? Good to know. Maybe I should vacation... Have a little... Gaycation in Egypt. But I don't... I have to research if Egypt is... Legibitiqua friendly. Remember, guys, if you're going to a different country, please research if they are Legibitiqua friendly. Usually you're safe in Europe. He is like a horse? Dang. Okay. Give him my number if he's Legibitiqua. <laughs> like I've been watching you draw this from like last summer <laughs> I haven't worked on this for a month and I'm finally coming back to it anyways love the art thank you I finished like six things after this. But you are here. Sammy, yes, he is. Perfect. Give him my number. Baki, oh, you'd love it, but it's not Ligibitiqua friendly. Dang. Just keep it low key and you'll be fine. I don't know if I can keep it low key. I love. I don't know. I feel like I would slip up somehow and just say, I love men. <laughs> Sammy. In fact, he's been wanting. Oh. Dang. Mr. Phil, welcome back, love. Welcome back to Walmart. Sammy, most Arabic countries are not Ligibitiqua friendly. In many, it's even illegal. Yeah, I don't know if I, yeah. So maybe I'll hold off on the, the gaycations in Dubai and, and stuff. I wonder what the friendliest place for a, a gaycation would be. Nowhere. still doesn't exist there. There are Legibitiqua communities all over the world. Yeah, I believe that too. They are everywhere. It's just not accepted, which is unfortunate. Do you guys remember when Gigi Gorgeous tried to go to Dubai and they stopped her? Thank goodness she's married to like a billionaire family who knows what could have happened thank you for the follow at life 43 sammy most europe is g friendly i think scandinavia in particular ooh meet a nice handsome viking Just doing a little cleanup. If you guys could vac if you guys could vacation or gaycation anywhere, 
where would you go? Where's the number one spot? I think mine would be Spain. I think Spain, from what I've heard, Spain is pretty Ligibitiqua friendly. Sammy, the romantic zone in Puerto Vallarta. Where's Puerto Vallarta? Wait, is that its is that its own country? <laughs> if so, where? Baki, honestly, Europe in general is pretty. Mexico, Pacific Coast, Puerto Vallarta. Maybe I'll look into that. Maybe that's closer to me than I think. <clears throat> Everyone does not like France anymore. I feel like everyone used to always dream about going to France and how how glamorous it's supposed to be but I don't know I feel like people are really not about it anymore they say that people are not the kindest that's like oh okay Baki Brazil oh Brazil Brazil's massive too We've got some real H men out there. Hmm. Brazil's so big. Brazil. Cristobal, hello, babe. Hey guys, what's happening? Que paso? Cristobal, we're talking about where you would go on a... Where's one place you would take a vacation or a, a gaycation? Anywhere in the world. I would go to Antarctica. <laughs> I would take a submarine down to see the Titanic. Sammy, by the way, as always, your voice is beautiful. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, babe. This is my voice after eating a whole pizza. I ate a whole pizza. I have pizza running through my veins right now. I needed to do some extra steps on the treadmill today. You have a list? Ooh, what's top on the list, Cristobal? Why is he so shiny? I don't think he's shiny. You think he looks shiny? He looks very matte to me. So soothing and hypnotic. Thank you. Cristobal. I wish I could hear your guys' voices. I know I've heard Mr. Phil's, because he goes live. I hope he's still here. He has a good voice. Cristobal. Italy, South, and Central America. Ooh, Italy. I love pasta. <laughs> Brazil, Costa Rica, and Chile. Chile, I hear they have a lot of earthquakes. Could be fun. Shaking around. Something tropical. Fiji. Ooh. Mr. Phil. My voice is annoying. No, it's not. Not even. I think we're critical of our own voices. But you have a good voice.
And I feel as Lijibitikwa men, we are very self-conscious about our voices. I remember when I was younger, I, I feel like I still have a woman's voice, but ever since um, hitting that certain age, it's just lower. I know my, my cadence and speech pattern is very feminine, but it's just low. <laughs> Because I would answer the phone and they would think I'm my mom. And then kids at school would be like, why do you talk like a girl? I'm like, I don't know. There are some Lijibitikwa resorts in Puerto Vallarta. Ooh, I'll look into those. I've always wanted to go on a Lijibitikwa cruise, but then I saw like videos about that. I'm like, I don't know if I could survive. Have you seen Stanley Tucci's documentary on food in Italy? I want to do that. I do love Stanley Tucci, the honorary Ligibitiqua. I'm scared of watching shows about food because then I would, I'll just want to eat. <laughs> Bread Mooch, thank you for the, the follow, babe. Mr. Phil, I've been mammed in the past. Same. Same. I used to work at um, a call center. And like, they'd be like, thank you, ma'am. I'm like, oh, I mean, sir. I'm, I'm like, it's okay. I'm like, whatever. I'm used to it by now. <laughs> but I did, when I was younger, I, I worked really hard to get rid of my lisp. Because I don't know why Lijibitikwa men have a lisp, but I, I really tried to get rid of it. Um, so you'll hear me drag out my S's a lot. Like, what's up, guys? <laughs> and that's just me, my internalized <clears throat> lisp removal. NYC, hey, babe. You haven't been in a long... Yeah, so I'm trying to do more lives on my YouTube. So I'm still doing daily lives, but... On YouTube, they're nicer to the, the community. I just love food. Yeah, food is good. Food is too good. I don't know when to stop. I like eating to the point where like my stomach hurts and then I'm like, ah, I'm gonna sleep good tonight. And I don't know if that's healthy. Probably not. Reno man, hello babe. Welcome, welcome to Walmart. Oh, I have to find you on YouTube. Yeah, please do. I'm really trying to push my YouTube out more. Let me write this down. YouTube. Boop, boop. It's the same username. <laughs> Mitch D, as in diamond, B-I-S-H. There, there are a lot. I regret um, not putting more of my eggs in YouTube when I started posting art online. I think I focus too much on TikTok, and TikTok doesn't really like me or Lijibitikwa stuff. I wish I would have done that earlier. But please follow me if you can on YouTube. Sorry, that's written like chicken scratches. How are you? I'm pretty good, babe. I just ate a whole pizza. How are you? Baki, I have a question. Why don't you draw irises for any of the men you draw? Why are they all blind? <laughs> don't get the wrong idea. They're all gorgeous. You know what, babe? That is a valid question. Um, when I do eyes, they give me the uh, uncanny valley vibe, which I really don't like. And also giving them no eyes gives them kind of like a powerful, otherworldly kind of a, a vibe. Also, it reminds me of Greek statues. So there's a lot of little reasons why. And it's stuck. And I, I kinda, I'm kind of happy that I did it because it does, even though it's a little thing, it does separate me from, from other artists. 
so it's kind of become like a little signature. The no eyes and the super shininess have become like my little thing, which has been convenient. I get so hungry. Me too. Me too. And I have the biggest weakness for sweets, like cake, cupcakes. It's a done deal. Baki. Nice. Okay, now I know. Yeah. And that's, that's a valid question. Not a problem. But I did... I did have art hanging at a show once, and some guys were like kind of freaked out by it. They were like, this reminds me of my ex, no soul. <laughs> yeah, then I talked to them about it. It was kind of awkward. Like, I wasn't really offended about it, but I don't think they realized that I was standing right there. But whatever. Some kind of reaction is better than no reaction, right? Francois is looking gorgeous. He says, Merci beaucoup. He is crying. But it's just for like the, the glamour purposes, you know, fashionably crying. NYC. I love the no eyes. I've always got in trouble for looking at other boys when I was a boy. Ah, uh -huh. I don't interpret it as no soul. Yeah, that's sweet. You got in trouble for looking at other boys? Like just looking at them? I do avoid a lot of eye contact. Myself. He's weeping. I need to wipe his tears. Oh. Yes, they would get mad. Dang. The, the other guys would get mad or other people would get mad at you for doing that? Reno man. Yeah, I got in trouble for looking at other guys too. Oh, this is common. My mom would get mad as well. <laughs> Men's eyes can be very intimidating. That is true. Very true. Um, I like to look at guys, I would go shopping with my mom at like JCPenney's and I would go to like the, the section of men's clothing where they wear underneath their clothing and I'd be like, whoa, I like this. <laughs> it's like, this is my jam. the guys and sometimes okay so both art speaks to everyone differently i like the blink guys thank you christopher the sears catalogs yeah those men are were so handsome yeah it, it is a go-to <laughs> a little eye-opening Princess, hello, babe. Welcome to Japan. Yeah, they are. Okay, so I think he's pretty cleaned up. Um, I posted some new art on my IG today. I worked on it a while ago, but I finally posted it on my IG. So if you guys want to see that finished art, Check it out. Um, you don't have to, but if you're curious, it's up. NYC. So if I had a son, I would never yell at him. Me either. Hopefully it's better for the youth now. But I feel like these past few years, it's been reverting back to a little more aggression or 
it's not needed. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, like a backlash. Yeah, it's it's strange. Like there was like a good solid five years where things were like really good. And then took a few steps back, but hopefully that's temporary, but honestly, who knows? The fear mongering has gone a little. Thanks for the likes. I didn't realize I had 3.3 million likes. Thank you. I feel like I missed a lot. That's okay. You're here now. We're just talking about, what were we talking about? I ate a whole pizza. NYC, I used to have a Mormon fantasy. They always used to, come to our door. Ah, fair enough. Um, yeah, there's a lot of Mormons where I am. I am technically Mormon. My papers are still in and I was baptized, but I did want to serve a mission. My brother did serve in Texas. But if you guys ever encounter Mormon missionaries, please be very nice to them. The more you combat with the Mormon missionaries, you kind of push them further into um, the religion. So just be nice, give them some water. Oh, see? Really? Always draw such beautiful men. Thank you, babe. Thank you, thank you. His name is Shawan. Poor turtle. I was always nice. I wanted to give them more than water. <laughs> some pretty wild stories and I don't think I'm able to talk about them on here Reno it's not really been getting better when I was in high school I used to get called the oh you did I think I did too but I didn't even know what that meant I only realized like later I was like oh I was being like bullied. I didn't even realize it. But it's better now though, right? NYC, the F word still makes me cringe. Yeah, I haven't been called that in a while. But then again, I don't leave the house that much. <laughs> Just a homebody. Homebody with nobody. Princess, I find Mormon missionaries so cute and goody boy. They are not so goody boy. If I could only tell you what I know and stories. have to remember there's still a young man <laughs> I think that's all I'll expand on that 
Well, I think he's pretty cleaned up, so I do have to give him some hair in this vicinity, but I'll do that off camera. But I'll be back later. Thank you guys for joining my live. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube. That will help me out a lot. I do daily lives on here instead. Bye-bye.